evening and welcome. My name is Nathaniel Hendricks, and I'm the choir teacher at Shorecrest High School and at Kellogg Middle School. And I'm very pleased to, to welcome all of you to our East Side Fifth Grade Honor Choir concert tonight. Tonight, uh, we will have a variety of music from a variety of ages. Uh, we're gonna have the chance tonight to hear from a couple of our high school Shorecrest choirs. On stage right now, you see Trumpet Choir, and in a little bit, you'll be seeing Viva Voce as well. Once those guys are done, then we'll get the, the important people for the night up on stage, the fifth graders. That's right. And, uh, and I am I'm so thrilled to see um, to see a full audience here. Obviously, not as full as, as we may maybe would hope. And um, just like just about any event over the past two years during the pandemic we're in right now, there, there are some downsides to, to how these things work out. Uh, but I have a hard time, honestly, being bitter about this because I'm just grateful that we have the chance to perform live music for you guys tonight. <laughs> These fifth graders have been hard at work the last two weeks with me, even the, the weeks before that with their elementary music teachers preparing this music, and they have a wonderful show in store for you. I think tonight will be a really nice journey. This will be the the first choral experience for a lot of our fifth graders who are sitting in the front right now. And then uh, you guys will get to see where they could potentially go with their choir experience if they decide that this is something they want to do with their elective time during middle school and high school. If they really want to spend that much time with me, we'll see. And um, then you'll get to hear what these high school kids are doing and maybe one day they'll be on the other end of this. So I hope you enjoy our concert tonight. I'd like you to please silence your cell phones and uh, we will be recording a video that will get posted on YouTube later, so you uh, you don't need to worry about recording a video that will get to you, and enjoy our concert.
down the old street and the evening shade and meditate on the words these made great God our sovereign Lord. Join us now, the meadow is green and the waters pure and the woods serene and the flowing air is fresh and clean where God is blessings pour. Feel the wind come down, feel the wind come down, feel the wind come down. have three songs prepared for you guys to listen to tonight and those are three solo songs that we're going to sing and then uh, I'm really pleased uh, it may be a bit chaotic but at the very end of this concert we're gonna get to have all of our performers sing uh, a song Blue Skies together and uh, we'll really get to see our our young musicians working with our old in what I hope will be an inspirational finish to our concert Our first piece for the fifth graders tonight is called Dona Nobis Pachem. And I have to say that I think this might be actually our most challenging piece that you're going to hear the fifth graders perform. It seems simple on the surface, but this song is sung a cappella, which means there are no instruments playing, there is no support from the piano, just the fifth graders' voices. And that's a, it's a scary thing uh, to do on, on, on your own. We're singing in Latin. This is Dona Nobis Pacha.
Thank you. 
group of singers we have on stage, huh? I have a, a few things to say and a few people to thank. While I'm doing this, high schoolers, I'd like you to stand and find your places here for Blue Skies, okay? Come on up, try to be quiet, please. Thank you again, everybody, so much for coming out to see this concert tonight. It is, um, I've had the pleasure of participating in many concerts throughout my life and conducting in many concerts, and it is really inspirational to work with such talented, but more than that, more hardworking children and children who have a passion for music. It really fuels me, and I uh, absolutely hope that I get to see just about every single one of these students in my choir class next year, because I think that we would have just a riot making music in class for, for a, a long time. That would, be, that would be a lot of fun. Now, I want to let you guys in on a little bit of an inside secret because my fifth graders, and actually my high schoolers too, we all know the sound that an air high five makes, and I think that they've deserved a really good air high five. So can I get a big air high five here? Good. You earned that air high five, guys. You earned that. That's good. So. Um, on that topic, I do, uh, I do really hope that, that fifth graders, that you and that your families consider uh, deciding to make choir a regular part of your life. And uh, if you ask just about, just about any one of these, these young people in front of me, they tell you that choir is a place where they found a family, where they found a community, and a place to, uh, to hone an artistic craft and find some, some purpose in their lives in high school. And I just love to see some of these students become a part of that. This is a big event. There are a lot of pieces that go into it and uh, so many people who helped put this together. There's, there's no way I could have done this on my own. So please allow me to thank uh, a few people. First and foremost, I really need to thank our, our elementary music teachers who are here tonight who helped pull so many of these things together and helped at rehearsals and got their students recruited and, and learning their music. So if, if you are one of our elementary music teachers, would you please stand and we can give them a round of applause. this wouldn't be uh, successful at all without the support of the behind the scenes people and in the back running our lighting and getting our risers set up and so many things to help this event run smoothly is Mark McCartney. Thank you, Mark McCartney. <laughs> and of course, thank you to our Shoreline School District administrators for uh, fostering the arts in our schools and encouraging events like this to happen even during challenging times. Every one of our administrators has been incredibly supportive and I'm thrilled. Uh, two of our elementary principals are here tonight. That is uh, Elizabeth Nunes from Ridgecrest and Amy Miner from Lake Forest Park. So thank you to you. Too. As I told you, our final song tonight combines all of our singers together for, uh, for one big song. We're gonna finish with a jazz number called Blue Skies. And um, once this, this song is over and once the uh, applause has, has faded out, then um, at that point, fifth graders, you can just uh, go calmly and, and collectively down the stairs to find, uh, to find your families and uh, be on the lookout for them finding you from making their way from the stage. Um, fifth graders, I'd like to just let you know also that it'll be a little bit tough to see me on Blue Skies. You're going to have to do your best. I'm going to be down here in the audience, and even if you can't see me, you're going to listen careful to the piano. Got that, fifth graders? Yeah. yeah? Awesome. We would just like to thank Mr. Hendricks for all his wonderful work with all of the students here. We're so happy to have him in Shoreline. And also, uh, we'll put this back there. Please. You don't have to hold it. And can you guys give a fair high five? <laughs> and also, um, we have a wonderful, um, great little side deal here. This is um, his, this is mom. <laughs>
What, so they can see you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a concept.